How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Quite a few different things to talk about today. A potential Donut Media Part 3 and 4 updates. Barbie collaboration, a few creepy TikTok videos, just a load of stuff. Let's get jumped straight into it. We'll start off with the usual Twitter updates. Now there's not much other than one quite serious announcement, I guess, of online services for Forza Horizon 1 and 2 will close on August the 22nd so that we can focus on supporting our most recent games. That's right, you've probably heard by now Forza Horizon 1 and Forza Horizon 2 are shutting down basically the online services. It's a bit gutting, they are very old games now but they're classic games. I actually revisit them every now and then. Can't say I use any of the online services but just to free roam about so it's sad to see them finally go. Forza Horizon 3 and Forza Horizon 4 will remain, it's just 1 and 2 at the moment. And we have a Q&A on screen of any potential questions that you might have about the, the shutting down of 1 and 2. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame, but as for Twitter updates, that's everything. They do actually regularly give away things over on the Forza Horizon Twitter page. So if you're not already following them on Twitter, go and give them a follow because you might be missing out on getting free car packs like the Horizon Racing Car Pack, which they gave away about 10 codes for, I think I see here. Now, I said in my last video that I was going to give away some to you guys. Well, I have picked two winners. Here they are on screen. I will be contacting you on Xbox. If you don't reply within a week, I will pick someone else. I'm going to give away another two codes for the next video. So if you want a chance at winning a Horizon and racing car pack code make sure you're subscribed and drop your gamer tag in the comment section below so as of right now we don't actually know anything about series 23 let's quickly talk about a tiktok video which popped up on the forza horizon tiktok page now this could be nothing but i want to quickly talk about it just in case it isn't nothing i'm going to play the tiktok in question right now <laughs> Now people on GT Planet have been speculating that this could be a reference towards a new upcoming car. Now the TikTok's obviously some kind of ritual based devilish evil sort of chant with the Morris cars. It gives us that kind of vibe and it could be nothing straight away, it could be absolutely nothing, could just be a cool TikTok or it could be a reference to something that's coming. Now there are lots of potentials for this, there is the Hennessy Exorcist which was referenced a few months ago according to the Admeister, which I don't recall myself, but if that's the case, the Hennessy Exorcist, you know, Exorcist, kind of lines up with the vibe that we're getting from that TikTok, is a possibility. Now, someone else actually mentioned the Devil 16, which I think is a big stretch with the devil, you know, a devil chant around the tree. It also adds up along with the Hennessy Exorcist as well. Um, we'll have to see. I don't really want to make too many guesses on it because it probably doesn't mean anything. But just in the chance that it is something, pop down in the comment section below your opinions on what this TikTok could be hinting at if it is hinting at anything. Is it the Hennessy Exorcist, the Devil 16 or any other cars that are a bit devilly? Do you know what I mean? Now the next quick topic is quite an interesting one and now to come to think about it, I don't know why I didn't presume this before, Donut Media might have a part 3 in Horizon 5 and maybe even a part 4. If you remember a long time ago when Donut Media spilled it themselves that they were going to be in a Horizon update, they said that we're going to be able to drive high-low cars, high-truck cars, um, the money pit cars, all of their stuff. Um, you can drive high car, low car, the money pit cars, uh, high truck, low truck, all of our stuff. They then deleted that portion of the podcast and re-uploaded it with slightly tweaked wording. Now to this day we've had part one on part two, we've got the high and low car but we still haven't got the high and low truck and the money pit cars. Keep that in mind for the next bit I'm going to show you. Someone on GT Planet posted this still shot right here. Now I haven't played the Donut Media story yet so I haven't it's noticed this, but there is a quote that Nolan says to James. It says, you know the Baja 1000 is coming up, right? We do have those trucks. You thinking what I'm thinking? Very interesting. Are they hinting at a potential Baja 1000 Part 3 Donut Media update where we get the high low trucks or just a truck related Donut Media update? It's certainly possible. It would make sense. If you look into the Baja 1000, it is in the week of November the 17th, which is a good few months away you know so it wouldn't really make sense if we were to get part three straight away i think part three will be a good few months away november is long enough away for it to make sense and if that's when the baja thousand happens 
maybe i believe it's november 13th to november 18th in obviously at the end of this year now whether this would tie up exactly with a um a thursday live stream or a season jump over it doesn't have to tie up exactly just roughly around november is when this happens so it kind of makes sense i mean we were promised these cars they said we'd be able to drive them and i don't know why they would say that if they hadn't have had them scanned because it's a long process you know getting the cars scanning the cars it's a long process to get exclusive cars like that into the game and i don't think they would mention it on their podcast unless it has been scanned so high truck and low truck in my opinion we may just get in a part three update of donut media now the reason i say there might be a part four is that again we were promised the money pit cars as well which is a complete other series they do i think there's a miata and a, an e36 bmw we haven't got them yet is that another part four for donut media i don't know nevertheless that tease in the donut media story sort of quote that we got along with the baja thousand being at the end of this year that makes sense i'd be very surprised if we don't get them at some point let me know what you think in the comment section below would you be happy with a donut media part three um lots of people were skeptical about part two i think part two has been received better than part one so part three might be a bit of a stretch but i don't know new cars at the end of the day isn't it now the barbie cars that were found in the horizon pro road last week have finally just been given to us out of nowhere now we suspected this would be a series 23 edition turns out we are just being gifted both of these cars today if you load up forza right now go to your message center go to your gifts you will have the chevrolet barbie movie corvette ev and ken's 2022 gmc barbie movie hummer ev pickup now available for anybody to go and get for free so nothing special really two free new cars can't really complain if you deep dive into it a little bit more there's a little bit of information about a competition they are going to be running with these as well share your barbie content on twitter or instagram before the 14th of july and include the hashtag hashtag forza horizon 5 barbie movie to be entered for a chance to win an unmissable barbie prize pack now i'm not exactly sure what's in the unmissable barbie prize pack but what we do know is there are lots of other barbie themed things coming out lately a barbie themed xbox as you can see on screen here also see talk of a, a xbox barbie doll um I, I i'm not that interested in barbie to be honest so i hate to have to read into stuff like this but you can read on screen a bit of information about everything so yeah grab the new barbie cars if you want a chance to win the competition why don't you take some cool photos and enter them get on instagram get on twitter and see what you can do that's pretty much everything we have to talk about today guys leave a like if you've enjoyed comment your thoughts on the comment section below i'll see you all later